Hey guys, so I wanted to do a speed and uh, camera test here between the new Pixel 2 from Google, uh, which is uh, Google's flagship phone, and Samsung's flagship phone from early 2017, uh, the S8 here, uh, which you can probably get for a lot cheaper than the new Pixel phones. So, uh, you know, uh, is it uh, worth paying for the Pixel? We're going to check it out here, have a look at the speed and uh, camera of each phone uh, so we can just start off booting them both up here fresh boot and then we can uh, see how they do compare I think I know who's going to win for the boot up which is absolutely amazing on the pixel but maybe the restart isn't that good actually uh, but I still think it's going to win maybe yes it does only just though uh, there so don't uh, restart the phone do you know shut it down uh, so we can just have a look here at the speed of each phone uh, see if we're getting any improvements here on the left so both have everything shut down both are fully up to date let's go so we're still running Android Nugget here on the uh, S8, which may have an effect with your Samsung experience here. And you can see uh, the Samsung is doing pretty well, considering it is a skinned uh, phone here. But I don't think you can quite keep up with the slickness of the uh, Pixel. Pretty much every single one here, uh, much faster and more responsive. Uh, so that was probably the Samsung there but you can see I mean do you see that judder on the Samsung I certainly did uh, so we can have a look at the games here maybe we'll see the Exynos process uh, kick into life because this is an Exynos model in terms of the displays are both AMOLED but I still think Samsung keeps the best panels to itself the Samsung display seems to be a little bit more brighter I have noticed uh, it's also obviously curved here so uh, it looks much more kind of uh, satisfying when it comes to your content I mean look at the reds here they look much more uh, luscious on the eyes uh, but at least it doesn't have display issues like the larger pixel I mean that's having burn in and everything apparently uh, very blue screen here again I can certainly see a difference in terms of display uh, but that is because Samsung you know does make these displays at the end of the day uh, but in terms of the raw speed here the pixel 2 is dominating pretty much every single one so if that is your main focus you're going to have a good time here. I wish it did something about these bezels though, make it more look like uh, the LG uh, G6, which doesn't have a curved display but has very minimal bezel. I think they could have copied that, uh, really. And again, here it looks like the pixel a little bit snappier to load the game which is pretty nice, one more yeah so I'm going to give this to the pixel in terms of the performance so I'll look at the web browsing here uh, so we're using a stock uh, browser for Samsung versus the, um, the Google Chrome which I think is a stock for the uh, pixel let's uh, go so very quick there on the left and another one and again very snappy on the left here uh, we're just going to go some page rendering here between both of them so I think uh, the Pixel is going for a more yellowish kind of display uh, according to my eyes compared to the 
a warmer like hue on the Samsung here. Uh, we can just click this. Again, the pixel, uh, which is going to take me to that, and I don't want to go to that. Uh, but I think uh, in terms of the raw speed here, I'm thinking it's the pixel. Let's just try one more. So go. Again, pixel. Very fast. Whoops. I didn't click that at the same time. Let's try a different one. Uh, BBC Sport. Oh, so that was the Samsung that time. Uh, so it's not clear cut, you know, definitely you can see there's some variation here. Strange how the same web page is loading uh, a little bit differently, but nevertheless, uh, I think uh, quite interesting. Let's just have a look at the multitasking. So both 4 gigs of RAM, as you can see. Uh, reload there on the pixel, not what I want to see. Uh, what is running more like beta software again another reload and uh, the samsung is doing better here are we living in a different dimension that is something i'm asking look at that there's some reload on uh, the pixel which is the flag bearer for android here so that's not even the same app uh, so some games oh so this is rendering the wrong way uh, I think both of them have reloaded the games so that's not the best but at least this uh, loaded it the right way let's just try another one so you can see I think both of them could do a lot better in terms of the memory management when it comes to you know, the fact that they're so expensive and they're high in phones. Well, I think the Pixel is recovering a little bit faster uh, overall. But yeah, kind of disappointing here. Both of them can't hold just four games in memory, really. Uh, I was expecting some good stuff here. But I did hold this one in memory, strangely enough. Uh, so, you know, not the best multitasking here, folks, if you are, you know, looking for that. But how do the cameras compare? That is something uh, I was quite interested in because Samsung, obviously, uh, is coming with an amazing uh, camera setup every year. Pretty much every year, Samsung nails it when it comes to the camera. Uh, so can uh, the uh, Pixel compete? That is a good question here. So we can start off with the low light, uh, which I do like to check out. And i got to say, you know, uh, even though the Pixel is like the highest rated camera right now, I couldn't see it being, uh, you know, marvelously better than the Samsung, which came out like five months ago. Uh, you can have a look for yourself, you know, I'm not uh, trying to be pro Samsung or anything, but really I thought that the Samsung still did amazing, uh, even given the age of the handset and that extends as well to the good light which is fantastic on the pixel uh, but to me the colors looked more vibrant on the Samsung for some reason uh, but I guess it depends on whether you like you know vibrancy versus more realistic colors I like vibrancy actually uh, so yeah you know we're not amazing step up from the Samsung uh, if you ask me and I'm guessing it'll be the same as well as the uh, S8. Uh, the Pixel does have optical image stabilization, so I thought it didn't at first, but it does. Uh, so the video, you know, again, uh, I'd say it's quite comparable, really. Both of them uh, pretty good. I'd say the Pixel has a weakness in terms of the low light. I noticed that there was quite a lot of noise on the video, like uh, like flashing and blinking for some reason, whereas the Samsung didn't exhibit that. Uh, maybe it's because of the lighting kind of scene, but it's something to bear in mind if you do some low light uh, video recording. But generally in good light, both of them are very nice and will do the job. Uh, but, you know, I think at the end of the day, we've got to go back to the point that the S8 is come down in price now quite a bit. 
uh, particularly you know the S8 Plus and things like that. So uh, I wouldn't uh, say you should really rush out and buy the Pixel, particularly as we have new handsets coming in 2018. Really, it doesn't really make that much sense. But then again, if you are you know on uh, Apple's platform or you're just looking to upgrade to a, a, a phone which just works and will be supported for a long time uh, Pixel 2 does the job at the end of the day and probably not to get the Pixel XL 2 though because it just seems to be getting worse and worse in regards to the display issues uh, and the Samsung is still a fantastic phone here you know so hopefully we'll get uh, Oreo on the uh, phone quite quickly Samsung's usually pretty good when it comes to its high-end phones uh, so yeah, just a quick little comparison here, you can see Samsung holds its ground pretty well. Hope you found it helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.